We don't yeah. talk kids here. We don't talk marriage. No, nothing Rock about report. Story. We talk hip hop. So Tyro <laughs> James, let's play some Tyro James. All right, man. I get fuck. Don't put me on the spot like Worst that. I get to open up that. my music. Um, yeah, let's get to our guest, Tyro James. As Dizzy and I said, we saw him. What was that? Like a month ago already? Now, Holy shit! Birthday party. Really? I don't know. It was like three weeks. Happy ago. Happy belated birthday, Dayfex. Fuck, time yeah. flies. <laughs> Are we just gonna wish him happy birthday every show? <laughs> yeah. Um, the proper proper report. report. Man. He got the man himself, Tyro James. Tyro James. It, it took us a bit to get a hold of you. That's why we played like thirty thousand songs of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks for having me on the show, Dizzy Azrael. What's going on, man? No, hey man, not. what was it like three weeks ago was Dave X Bar? We already forgot. We already forgot. It was sometime yeah. last month. Nah, May fifth, man. May fifth at the Camby. We were we were getting live there and I found out that Azra was a pro wrestler. What? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we're just talking about that. I just got back from a three days of me getting my ass kicked. We did seven shows and like a bunch of fair shows and stuff. So as I, as I said to our last guest, Epitome, man, if I'm slurring or falling asleep, I'm just beat up. <laughs> beat up, yeah. So, yeah, what's been happening with you? Uh, how's the music life going and stuff? Man, the music life is always going good, man. I started off the year winning the Vancouver Whammy oh, Award Whammy. for uh, the – what do you call it? Best hip hop, a local and local Congrats, scene there. But uh, thanks so much, man. It was really cool uh, to have a bunch of your peers kind of vote you in, especially over some top names. You know what I mean? Like they had the choice to vote for whoever, and they decided to just you know vote me in. And uh, it's really cool, man. It's good to see the, the the Vancouver music scene putting on stuff like that, like shows or like award shows, even if it's just like a rinky dink thing for themselves, right? It's just recognition. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Totally, right? yeah, that's fucking awesome, though. I like that. And uh, I actually feel bad about it because I never, I never advertised any of the whammy stuff on our profit reports. So uh, my bad oh, on it's that. All, it's all good, man. It's all good. You know, they're still trying to like uh, bring a little more recognition to it as each year goes by. Yeah, a legend. Oh my god. Hey man, you're the legend over there on the island, man. I mean, uh, from the la- looks of things, the last few months you've been holding it down over at the next pub and uh, all the other spots that we were talking about last time, I mean, Porto, uh, Port Hardy and stuff. Port Hardy, Port or Port uh, River, or Power River, River. Power Power River. River. yeah, yeah. Uh, so down, Alert yeah, Bay, uh, Alert Bay, almost. Uh, I might be getting a show there, and yeah, we're doing <laughs> match now in Cumberland, and we got a show back in Courtney again, and yeah, it's crazy over here. Just from yeah, man. I mean, you seem to be the guy to to, to get at these days for those kind of island shows, man. In that area, at least, that's what I can see. So, congrats for uh, you know putting putting yourself on and everybody else, man. You guys are building a little scene over there. That's good to see. Totally, man, and I really want to thank Azzy and uh, Young Cat for that one. That's that's totally their whole thing, and I'm just the connection, man. That's who I am. <laughs> for sure, dog. Yeah, come when yeah, you when, yeah. when you come move out here, man. You already know what it's like, man. You can get gigs every weekend out here if you want. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking every hour. Easy. Have you have every you been hour, there the seven days a week? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I've been living on. Uh, yeah, I've been living in the mainland most of my life, man. Oh my. Oh, yeah, over <laughs> over here on the island, uh, it started with knocking on doors, and then half of them burnt down and shit. Like literally, our bars scene oh. here is like brutal. And then so yeah, we just really <laughs> we try to work hard and getting something consistent, man. Because it was like we started yeah. trying to kick down doors, and there was no doors left. So man, we had to <laughs> build something and just yeah, we, yeah. we try to have a show that's just available for all artists to come out. Because there's so many talented artists all across this island, and then fucking all across the mainland. This this province is solid. I think it's, yeah, dude, it's I think it's one of the most talented here. like underground scenes and. In, in on the globe, uh, so and that's, oh that's man, yeah, the Vancouver, totally the island and the mainland scene is just insane, man. I think we don't give ourselves well, you just did, but we don't give ourselves enough credit. Like I think I've been to yeah, a few man. spots and like even just in Washington State, man, like cool places, you know, but they're so small and it's not popping off like it is in like the 604 and the 250, man. Yeah, and Vic, Vic City Soldiers holding it down in Victoria like crazy too, and Nanaimo as well. And you know, as you know, Dayfect too is uh, supporting us with the shows over there too. So it's it's crazy, man. We're all connecting. I love it. I love it. I love it too, man. It's good. It's good to hear. But yeah, man. Oh, besides the award, man, I've been just planning for the So Much of Nice tour, which starts this Friday in Vancouver, Atlanta, no Luz, and then. Uh, Going on Atlanta. Sunday and Ladner and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, man, I'm hitting up Tofino actually for all you island people out there. On oh, June dude, 4th. go surfing. June 4th, Are you going man. surfing? I might, man. Somebody go just surfing. drowned it the other day, man. <laughs> <laughs> the haunted, yeah. the haunted beach, the haunted surfboard. No, man, I'm gonna be going June 4th with my girl and our ferret, and it's gonna be hella fun. Shout out and to I'll Kat. be at the 
Hey, shout out to Cat on the radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll be yeah. at the Tofino Legion, man. It's gonna be cool. I nice. I heard that place is pretty all right. So uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun, man. Bad. Dope, man. So uh, is it just like a BC tour, or, or just not? Oh, like, uh, no, I got a couple of US dates as well. I'm gonna be hitting up uh, Seattle on June 13th, and then uh, for the first time ever in Everett on June 16th with uh, our not RC, sorry, Vicious and Jake Lawson. Mm-hmm. Vicious, sweet, officially international tour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Sick, so is this an Such annual? Time, man, I, like the so much. Yeah, yeah. It's actually, uh, yeah. A couple people were hollering at me. They're like, "Why well, <laughs> your, your tour was the same name last year?" I'm like, "Well, that's why I got numbers next to it, like four, <laughs> five. This one is six. But like, you know, it's uh, yeah. I've been rocking this name since 2012. It's just been like that's an annual awesome. thing. Just like a between six and ten shows or whatever I kind of feel like doing just along the northwest and every year i try yeah. to do a new city or you know making your own brand Maybe, there, uh, that's, that's awesome <laughs> pretty much man and it gives you a chance to i check out some new venues and new spots and then you make a you know you make totally. a good contact somewhere and you can come back to that place again and again yeah. oh yeah again and again <laughs> yeah what about uh music videos and shit like even you work on music videos and all that like how's that going Great, man. I got a couple of videos that I've done for bands that are going to be, I guess, on their way out because I've just given them the final copies and I'm always putting on a new Tyro video once every month or two months. Uh, check out my channel, youtube.com slash Tyro James for all like 40,000 videos on there of all kinds of stuff. Holy Shot shit. Many hazmat videos. Me and RC are working on the 100 more documentary. Dizzy, you know about that? Yeah, yeah, I, I know all about that. And yeah, I've seen you work a lot with uh, with hazmat and everything. And you've been doing a lot of videos with them, and that's dope. That's Great, crazy. man. Yeah, I've definitely done a lot a lot of the material for the hazmat visuals, uh, especially with RC over the years. I think uh, him and Vicious were some of my very first clients as far as like video work goes, you know, six years ago when I started doing it. And yeah, uh, it's yeah. cool, man. I try and I I try and keep it fresh every time, right? I just kind of keep buying new equipment, or people gift me new equipment sometimes, and I appreciate it, right? Shout out to yeah, Kat. yeah, totally. Oh. So it's always uh, you know what I mean? It's always just uh, buying more equipment, making bigger, better videos, and you know who knows what's next, right? Yeah, man. Uh, wh- are you working on anything new right now? Yeah, man. Like, I got an EP coming out any- actually in please? June. No spoilers. Oh, really? No spoilers. Oh yeah, I got spoilers, man. No, it's just a Tyro James. Spoiler away. Spoiler away. Spoiler alert! It's coming, man. Yeah. Collabs and Breaking collabs news. four, man. It's my my fourth edition of uh, an all collaboration EP. It's four tracks long, Sweet. and it drops oh, on yeah. June June twenty something. Oh, nice. That's sick, man. Uh, I seen your post earlier. You got some shit to be said, so I was just kind of curious on. If you were going to do your, because I listened to the last few radio radio shows you were on, and you just fucking ranted off, man. Today you just seem so calm, and you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got right this show. Business. Yeah, totally right. <laughs> oh, just, I don't know, man. Maybe I think I've been living the stress-free life for the last week or so. But, I mean, last time I just discussed my uh, departure with Smoked Out Battles, because I know some people yeah. were, you know, like, oh, why did you leave, right? And yeah. yeah long story short it's just you know time for something else right i don't know man just things have been pretty good in the scene i think you know i just again just things that drive me nuts like people's bad <laughs> attitudes and stuff you know yeah when totally. it comes to like shows shows or whatever or just egos about anything you know what i mean yeah yeah so have you been in the battle rap scene for long then I just as a filmographer, man, not really okay, as an actual so. like a battle rapper, but I've seen okay, it go so down for four years. Right with that. <laughs> I just gotta update you. I I, you I, I, I can I, I can I give you some something and as he had to go grab it, grab some paper. Oh yeah, I may so. have missed like a minute of that because Dizzy spilled his drink everywhere and I had to go mop it up. But uh, <laughs> I, I am back now. Yeah. <laughs> Nice man. Cleaning. Well, no, I don't know, man. If you want to know about battle rap stuff, I'm sure I I have enough insight on it. I got four years of standing there in front of their faces recording them, right? So that yeah, man. Yeah, like I I really respect it a lot. I just I'm oh, I'm I do such too. A, I'm a writer, and I mean like I guess yeah. I mean there's writing involved in like a lot of times people I'm sure write their stuff down before they get in there and stuff. But it's just it's just such a different art form than writing, recording, performing live, right? So it's just I respect it, but it's just oh, like cool. sometimes. I'm like I want to do that because it's I, I have a competitive a nature in me. But then I mean. go wrestle and then I'm like I'm good. I don't need a battle rap. Let them tell me to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. 
No, I know, man. It's kind of like a spoken word poetry slam kind of aspect to it. It's not so much like people say rap battle, and I'm a rap battler, and they think like eight mile, like instrumentals and stuff. But I mean, it's its own little culture now, like you said. It's just like, I mean, some guys do the whole like battle rap to artist transition. Some guys don't, yeah. right? And just like you said, man, I'm more of a writer. You know, give me a beat, I'll, I'll write a song to it. You know what I mean? And, but if you're like, yo, man, you want to battle me? I'm just like, I don't know, man. You want to make it, maybe make a diss track about me on a song? We'll do it that way, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Do it old school, you know? Because like, <laughs> I, I love, I love a good diss track, man. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, even like that, that stuff of last year or whatever was Snack and Mad Child. Diss tracks are fun, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like oh yeah. shit! I can't wait to hear that guy's diss track. Oh, it's crazy, right? I'm, so I'm, I'm I also torn on that because I'm, I'm like I love unity between artists, but I'm the exact same way. I'm like I love great punchlines oh, and like damn, it's what just like man, say? it's like yeah. they're they're boxing with words and it's just beautiful. So it's, but I, I'm it way. is man. I I think guys though, like if two guys are kind of having an out and putting out like you know battle disses or diss tracks and stuff. I mean, if they're two like pretty quality rappers, it pretty much does nothing but elevate both people, right? Because it gets eyes on them. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, what's I, going on? I want to, I want to see what's happening, right? Oh, who's this guy? And then they, they think he's cool. They'll be like, oh, maybe I'll check out more of his music or something, right? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it just creates more buzz around your name, and people want to know if people hear about some beef going on. You know, especially if you're involved in the music scene, it's like, oh shit, I want to know who this guy is. You know what I mean? I want to know what side to pick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, and I mean, I guess if either guy, I mean, both guys, as long as they're standing the ground, in the end, years later, people just go back and be glad that both guys did it and kind of probably have respect for both if, if they enjoyed that whole like you know the, the whole thing the music it created because i know there's some uh what well, cypress hill and uh west coast uh like some yeah old, uh fucking west coast, shit west side connection west side, uh, west side connection songs that just went back and forth i'm like they're, they're both of them were entertaining oh, yeah. shit both sides i'm like well, where's the next one uh, i love that yeah music. yeah totally that was sick oh totally um, man it, cr- it creates some classic classic stuff it brings up the best in all the artists right <laughs> Fuck Campbell Rude is on live on the air. Fuck Campbell Rude. Fuck Campbell Rude. Well, it's not like we do. We we live here. Yeah, no, we yeah. live here, but we don't do shows here. Because seriously, one of our bars, like the first place I ever did a show in this town, it, it's burnt down now. It burnt down last year. Quinny. Uh, then the other yeah, place. Oh, what? Yeah, the Quinny uh, Quinny Hotel burnt down. Uh, then the Paramount Music Hall, which is also a um, voodoo, voodoo music lounge, it just shut down a couple months ago. Sold all their equipment. Oh. So now the only bar we really got is uh, JJ's, and they have strippers. Strip they don't club. need live music, so we're we're hurting. <laughs> right. We yeah. down to That's Courtney. why we go to Courtney. They, they're good to us. Uh, we've had yeah. a lot, uh, monthly spot at the Mex Pub there for almost two years now. So two years. Yeah, Shit, the Mex man. Pub, man. That's the, yeah. I I gotta come there, man. I gotta come do a show there next year or whenever man for sure I'm 100% down well, for that place. we will definitely keep in touch about that man because that would be fun to line up whether it's on a on a so much of nice tour or just any other project you anything on, man just a, ra- just a random tour yeah you guys need someone to yeah. haul there I mean just give me a show yeah, and I'll man. see what's happening man check the old Palm Pilot <laughs> the Palm Pilot yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah but yeah, man, I'm super stoked on for travel tour, man. Uh, he's got to go back and forth too so yeah yeah totally you know, I just yeah. picked up my tour shirts today, man. It was super awesome. Oh, really? I haven't Official. seen that. How are they yet. looking? How are they looking? They look good, man. I'm going to actually snap a few pictures and put them online, uh, you know, tonight and just be like, come get the shirts. Come get them. <laughs> How much are they? Probably going to be 15 bucks, maybe 10 bucks, maybe, I don't know, something like that. Bet- between there, nothing too expensive, man. I don't, I don't really sell shirts for more than 15 or maybe 12 bucks, you know. Nice. That's sick. I maybe get a pretty I'll good get deal one from when I'm done moving. Well, there's, yeah, if, if, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, if, if you come back and I, I, I got a few, I'll definitely try and save you one. But, yeah. yeah, I'm probably looking to sell out, man. I only got about 20 of them, right? So peop, uh, oh, most go. of the rappers are going to be like, give me a shirt. So you got to prove that you were on the tour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> prove. Yeah. Well, yeah, I got you on the profit report, so I need one. <laughs> hey, fair enough, man. That's, that, that's definitely a reason enough, to be honest. So I will set one aside so, for I you just if you want one. I all you guys. All you start adding it. radio episodes, people's tour dates. I, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, man. Um, so before we let you go here, is there anything else you would like to plug in? Uh, anything important? Uh, any, anyone should know? All I got to say is, man, just come out to the shows, come out to the so much of nice ones that are in your area, starting this Friday, May 25th, 
Vancouver, Atlanta lose, and then we're going to Ladner on Sunday, May 27th at Sundance Pub. And it continues on from there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tyro James. I'm on Spotify now because I'm living in the future, man. So check there it out on there. I'll be, uploading. <laughs> I'll be uploading all my projects now to Spotify now that I got the green light. So that's it's going to be good. Uh, that, that, that's really it, man. Just come out to shows and, you know, support your local acts, buy a shirt, buy a CD, whatever, buy, buy a fucking magnet. I don't know, whatever. Just come on out, have a yeah, good time, have some tears. Totally get a body yeah, pin. I have one, yeah. <laughs> I got all, man. I got magnets. I'm thinking about getting coffee oh, cups. Yeah. Who knows, man? Welcome. Oh, that's dope, man. Yeah, we're rocking our uh, profit report, and he's got his Azzy coffee yeah, yeah. cup here. That's sick, man. I like it, man. You have a coffee cup yeah, collection of just artists. That'd be sweet. That's all I got <laughs> yeah. really uh, to say, man. That's all I can really say. Thank you to uh, to dope, the first man. Miami Award on, winner, man. best hip hop, Tyro James. Ah. That's sick, man. That's so thanks I'll for coming on, bro. I appreciate that. All right, we're gonna get back to your song, uh, Audrey Hepburn. Anything you want to say about that song? Hey, man, check the video out on my YouTube channel. It's the catchy chorus song. I labeled it Audrey Hepburn uh, yeah. with catchy chorus. <laughs> Dizzy couldn't stop singing. <laughs> catchy, catchy, yeah, I love, I love when you perform it too. So it's sick, man. It's dope. Cheers, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, check it out on my uh, the the video and check out Evenings and Weekends, the album it's from on my Bandcamp and all that good stuff. Blippity blippity blap. That's it. Oh, uh, just like that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dude. Appreciate it so much for uh, being on the Profit Report. It was it was awesome. Man. Thanks again, guys, and I'm sure I'll see y'all real soon. All right, yeah, we'll keep in touch. Peace, dude.